So let's say you're out on the town, you're in a dimly lit bar, and you can make out a woman sitting alone. And wow, does she have some amazing perfume on. You approach her, ready to bring out all your very awesome conversation moves, and then she disintegrates into a bunch of tiny worms. This, luckily, is not something you have to worry about as a human person in the dating world. But not all of us are so blessed. Meet my friend, the blister beetle. Blister beetles are super well known for the dangerous toxin they produce called cantharidin, but a one particular blister beetle should probably be known for something else as well. That beetle is Mello franciscanus. This one is a grown-up, but they don't start that way. In this case, they start as an egg, sitting amongst an average of 761 egg brothers and sisters. When the egg hatches, out comes the blister beetle larva, also called a triungulin, and they don't hatch alone. This larva emerges at the same time as all of their siblings. They have one mission, to climb a nearby plant and get in a big ol' pile, or, in sciency terms, an aggregation. These baby blister beetles are now hoping to claim a one-way ticket to enough food to grow into an adult. Time for a new friend. The ground-nesting solitary silver bee, Hapropita miserabilis. This one is male, and is looking for a female bee to mate with. And lucky him, he notices one. You, uh, might know where this is going. Yes, this male bee has taken notice of what is actually the triangulan aggregation. Almost certainly, like, a super embarrassing mistake. How did he get so thoroughly tricked? The real strength of the illusion here is in smell. These triangulans produce a signal that copies the pheromone made by a normal female bee, thereby enticing the male into their carefully laid trap. Ah, got him. And entice they do. The male makes a full approach and pseudo-copulates with the aggregation. That means doesn't successfully mate, I mean, how could he? But he very much attempts to. The triangulans take this opportunity to latch on to the male bee in mass. The triangulans are now hoping for their male bee to have much better luck in discovering an actual female. And when he does, they become the world's like weirdest sexually transmitted problem. They abandon the male and hop on over to the female bee. When the female returns to the nest, these triangulants finally drop on off. They've succeeded. They now have complete access to all that good, good pollen gathered for the bee offspring, and unpleasantly will even eat the bee offspring themselves as well. This behavior of mimicking bee pheromone has been observed in two blister beetle species so far, Mello franciscanus, featured here, and also Stenoria analis. Until next time, this has been Bug the Bard, bringing you some bug lore. If you'd like to get your name here, you can support me on Patreon. Right now, it's a uh, just my mom. She's very proud, y'all.